So I made over three thousand uh, dollars on the euro USD and the pound as well. So this is a running trade, as you can see right now. Uh, three thousand dollars. This is my profit account. Remember, guys, we spoken about this trade long time ago. Long time ago. If you go on YouTube, we, we already saw this move before it even happened. We saw this move long time ago. So it's just happening right now, but we already saw it. Uh, we had the sell on the pound and we had the sell on the euro USD. So we already saw this move. So let me just try and explain why the reason I actually saw that move. Uh, so guys before we get even further, please make sure you like the video and you comment because it's helped the algorithm to actually push the video and so it can reach more audience. So if you're still new to the channel, I see a lot of people are still new to the channel and they like the content but they never subscribe. I don't know why. Please, with just one minute of your time, make sure you just click the subscribe button subscribe right now it will really help a lot and if you're already in the channel make sure you click the like button so we had the setup of the euro usd oh, let me just go for a plain one go for a plain one and you're gonna be looking at some other stuff before we even get further so we had the setup of the euro usd which was uh okay there it is, Euro USD, this is, if it's plain, okay, there it is. Uh -oh. oh, I'm in the NZD, so, there it is. So, this drop here, it even opened on a gap on Monday, today. It even opened with a gap, I don't know why it opened with a gap, but it decided to open with the, with the gap, ne? so, this setup was the euro usd it was a very easy setup um if you look at it <coughs> on the daily time frame like we've spoken about the daily time frame uh, a long time ago so this is what i was looking at guys this is what basically was uh, what i was looking at on the daily time frame on the euro usd so if you see here guys you always have to pay attention on the structure movement you know the structure first you have to know what the structure was doing before you make any decision but you just don't have to be so much focused on the structure you just need one simple answer then you know okay this what might happen by just looking here uh you see that the price from this here was creating higher highs high lows higher highs high lows higher highs high lows this move going up high highs high lows but this low nothing has been above this low this is the importance of qml trading and quasimoto trading is because we just focus so much on the structure so this low nothing has went below this low. so this previous low has been upper uh than this previous this this low so she's telling you that the whole structure going up has been broken so we're on a downtrend right now because we have a lower low so that is the importance of structure trading so this low is no longer equivalent to this low so we already have a huge indication that we're gonna go down to the downside net we're gonna go down to the downside so this low is not equivalent to this low yeah so this low is lower than this one so i'm just writing down for you lower low so we have that structure being broken showing you that we're on a downside we are looking for a sell so they might go down anytime soon so what else did i saw that this move is gonna go down was this entire compression this entire compression so if you look at it on the four hour you might see that there's a lot of compression that the price is doing it's creating higher highs high lows high highs high lows high highs high lows so what they are doing right now by doing creating high highs high lows they're already trapping the buyers because they are creating a fake uptrend this is a fake uptrend because the overall the overall trend has been broken which is a sell so now they are creating a fake uptrend so that's why they're creating high highs high lows high highs high lows so this entire move 
is a fake move. That's why I call it compression because this is a fake uptrend. This is a fake uptrend, CP. So I just write CP for compression for a fake move. So I know they are creating this move just to trap buyers because as soon as buyers see that, okay, they are creating high highs and high lows, high highs and high lows, right now they are moving up. So you saw on the NFP there was a lot of, there's, there was a lot of um, buy because of a lot of people saw the price creating high highs, high lows. But the truth is, it was never going to go up because it's already broke broken the overall structure. Né? So let's go to the uh, daily time frame to actually see, or even in the 4 hour, you can actually see what, what might happen. So I've already have two things now telling me that, okay, this is a sell. So I already have this structure being broken and this compression. So I'm just looking for a place where I'm going to put my order at. So this is where I was looking for a nice sell. This was a nice sell at this point. This was uh, nice, but it's really shown nicely on the daily on the daily time frame. So this was nicely. So this was this base candle. Let me just zoom it in for you so you can see proper. This base candle. So this drop base drop. So this base candle was my uh, entry point. The reason why I chose this base candle was my entry point. If you look at your left hand side, you'll see there's a quasimodo, but not just an easy quasimodo. It was a bit hard. It was a bit hard cause of um it it didn't have a clear shoulder so you can see here you have a shoulder and a head and then you can see this base here this spike here is exactly where the base is so if i can draw a horizontal line here this would be my entry point because of this candle here showing me this is a shoulder level which is a quasimodo so if i put it like this you see you see it literally went down after moving here on this left hand shoulder what which was my quasimoto level so qml here so this was my quasimoto level this was my quasimoto level so that where the price decided to actually drop so if i could highlight it here highlight it here this was where the price decided to actually drop so going forward where should you take profit will be this where your take profits will be the at this lower low so right now we are on a hold position we are holding we are not in a rush already the market has decided to open with a very beautiful gap going down so i don't think they're gonna close this gap they have to go here but i think tomorrow is gonna be cpi ne? cpi so we might have luck and then it will hit our take profits even much quicker so what is hit here this is gonna be your take profits your stop loss always have to be above it never went even close to the state to the take profit so we're just waiting for it to actually drop on the cpi and then we are good for this take profits i think on the take profit you're gonna make more money you're gonna make more money so make sure guys you click and you subscribe on the video thank you so much Make sure you click the, sub sub the subscribe button and make me reach 10,000 subscribers.